values, values, values. Do not talk to strangers online. They may pretend to be your classmate, your scoutmate, someone you know. Regrettably, it may be somebody you know. It may be a neighbor in proximity. It may be a deviant who's taken the information that they know firsthand, enticing you in the conversation to relax and let your guard down. A former page has come forward to tell ABC News warnings were issued about Foley to pages in 2001. Matthew Lowerditch says pages were told to watch out for Foley. It was a slight cautionary statement, you know, don't get too wrapped up in him and him being nice to you and all that kind of stuff. You know, he's a nice guy, but he is a little bit odd. ABC News has obtained internet messages sent by Foley to three different pages after that warning. This is Dennis Hastert, the third most powerful Republican in the country and the man in charge of the House of Representatives. When did he first find out about Foley and what did he do? And, uh, all of a sudden the press came out and uh, that said that there were these uh, emails that were uh, from 2003, I guess, and uh, Congressman uh, Foley resigned. That's when I learned of it at that point. You know, I know Danny Hastert. I meet with him a lot. He is a father, teacher, coach, who cares about the children of this country. New reports that disgraced Congressman Mark Foley engaged in cyber sex with a teenage boy when he was supposed to be on the House floor for an important vote. To be honest, I'm a little too interested in you, so that's why I need to back off a little. Yeah, slow things down a little. I'm still young, like under 18. Don't want to do anything illegal. I'm not 18. Cool. Don't forget to measure for me. A reference to his request that the page provide the measurements of his sexual organ. A request Foley repeatedly made to another page as well. This is Tom Reynolds. He's in charge of the National Republican Congressional Committee, which raises money and gives money to Republicans for elections. He says he first learned of Foley's misbehavior in 2006. I did what most people would do in a workplace. I heard something, I took it to my supervisor. You know, I don't really recall uh, Reynolds talking to me about that, but if he did, he brought it in with a whole stack of things. And uh, I think if it, he would have had that discussion, he would have found, he would have said it was also resolved, because my understanding now that it was resolved at that point. If I took it to the, to the uh, uh, Speaker of the House, is that up to his approval? This is John Boehner. He is the leader of the Republicans in the House of Representatives and reports directly to Dennis Hastert. He says he first learned about Foley's emails in 2006. Uh, I believe I talked to the speaker and he told me it had been taken care of. And, and in, in my position, uh, it's in his corner, it's his responsibility. Uh, the clerk of the House who runs the page program, the page board, I'll report to the speaker. And I believe that it had been dealt with. This is Rodney Alexander. A page from his district received obscene emails from Foley, which Alexander first learned about in 2005. This is John Shimkus. He's the Republican in charge of the page program, and Alexander told him about Foley in 2005. He didn't tell anyone else in the page program, and no formal action was taken. You know, this didn't happen under our uh, while the pages were in Washington. It happened after these people left, in my understanding, left uh, the page program. This is Jim Colby. He first knew about Foley's inappropriate actions with Pages in the year 2000. He told the Page program, which Simkiss oversaw. Colby is now under investigation for inappropriate behavior with two male Pages on a camping trip in 1996. This is Kirk Fordham. He's Mark Foley's former chief of staff, who went on to work for Tom Reynolds as his chief of staff. He learned of an incident in 2003 where Foley attempted to visit the Pages dorm while drunk. The allegations come from Foley's former chief of staff, Kirk Fordham, who says in late 2003, he took concerns to the speaker's chief of staff that Foley was getting too close to young male pages. 
and I received a, an, an instant message from a screen name that I did not recognize. Uh, it almost turned sexual in nature immediately, um, asking things of a personal nature about me and, and, and my body and things of that sort. But it's not always pretty up there on Capitol Hill, and there have been other scandals, as you know, that have been more than simply uh, naughty emails. So with at least seven Republicans learning about Foley's inappropriate actions since 2000, why didn't a single one of them go to the police or to the FBI in seven years? Why didn't they at least ask him to resign before all this became public? Tom Foley gave $100,000 to the campaign arm of the House Republicans, the National Republican Congressional Committee, at about the time when they were deciding to ignore these emails, this first round of emails they saw, maybe a couple months after they first knew about this, uh, suddenly he gives this big donation. It really raises the question, did he buy their silence? Uh, the fact is that uh, that was raised in an honorable fashioned, as I best understand it, from Mr. Foley, and he gave it uh, as his own free will, and I believe he has still about $1.8 million in his own account. Uh, it's uh, something that uh, members uh, that, that care about the, the party and helping to advance the opportunity, me, to continue a majority. Tired of a party that puts power and money above protecting our country, above protecting our jobs, and even above protecting our children? Then there's something you can do about it. This November 7th, it's time for a change. Values! Values!